Notice this family's Christmas tree and how it's probably different from yours. No presents underneath and no decorations scattered on the branches. That's because this family has been rooming with rodents in their apartment. We had decorations. We even had some that my wife made. Uh, we kept them in a drawer here in the kitchen mm -hmm. and they ate at those. They're gone. Our Christmas lights, they were chewed on. Our Christmas decoration, this is all we have left. These are the conditions the Coaston family has been living in for years. The toilet making this nonstop noise. Any drawer you open, any cracked door, you'll find roaches. And at night, the family is haunted by mice. This isn't like a monster in a closet type deal. This is real. They're seeing it and they have to live through it. They say all of these issues have been brought to the manager and maintenance team time and time again. Here's just a short version of our tour. The hole here up here is where I guess the pipes from the upstairs neighbor's toilet was leaking and it leaked so much that it, it just ate a hole into the, the ceiling. And they came and tried to do a patchwork, I guess, but now it's every time that they take a shower upstairs, it leaks. The water will come all the way out here and this whole area here will be covered in, in water. The problem escalates from here. The family run over by roaches. And it's like this everywhere. We went to their apartment on the day they had crews come spray. We put the camera away, but I kept rolling to see just how long they would stay. From the time they say hello to when they leave, it was 37 seconds. While we're left blatantly staring at things like this. So I see them walk, roaches walk right across where they spray, and nothing ever happens. Then you've got a lot bigger of tyrants. They're living among mice day in, day out. The foundation is so messed up that they crawl right underneath the wall. You can see right back here, the hole. I patched this up two or three times. This is where like mice would go in there and eat our dog food, and they'll come out here onto the stove, and they'll just walk around, and there'll be rat feces or mice feces all on our stove. The mice have chewed a hole directly to where that socket is, and now all the wires are exposed. And that's in their children's bedroom. As a mom, it is really terrifying. It's left many concerns for their health and safety, something these parents can't risk for their four kids. I don't want to come home. I don't want to come here. If I could take everybody and leave, I'd rather sleep in my car. So they turned to us. When management found out about our story, they were moved to a new unit within a week. This is their new unit, mice free. This family may have gotten out, but what about the other tenants stuck in the building overrun by these rodents? Some residents didn't want to go on camera, but they still stressed how bad their situations are. This lady over here, one of, one of the tenants here had 56 rats and another one had like 40 something. I've experienced no hot water, electrical issues that have not been addressed, rats in other apartments, like severely. There's a lot more that can be done, and more will be done. Uh, in Jacksonville, Kara Rucker, KETK News.